Hello and welcome to the next X-Wing video where we are going to look at issues 31 and 32 this time. But I just thought I'd start this video as I am doing at the moment by saying hello. How is everyone doing? Uh, it's a weird place in the UK. We had the shops that opened up on Monday just gone and starting to get back to normal. Normal a little bit. There is still a lot of fear about you know what's out there but everything seems to be on the down low our security level system goes from five to one five being the highest one being the lowest it has now moved down to a three which means you know the virus is still around but uh not as prevalent as it was when it was a four um but it's a weird time it's a weird time so i hope that you are all keeping healthy and keeping safe um, what have I done over the last two weeks? Well, the first thing I did, uh, which I'm very grateful that the lockdown is easing, is I went and did this. So sorry about using phone footage. Uh, my engine is off, just so you know. I'm not using my phone illegally. Why are you concerned about my engine being off? Well, if I just flip this camera around, I can't, so I'll just have to do this. I'm at McDonald's. I'm getting a McDonald's drive through Queue's not too bad. It's a Sunday. It's not too bad. The queue is moving though, so I've got to go. See you in a bit. And here it is. Very, very exciting for me to finally get a McDonald's. I've since had two. Um, yeah, it's 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 amazing how much much you miss these junk food type experiences that we just take for granted normally. And I know I shouldn't be eating McDonald's, but the queue was were crazy. Um, and I wanted to go and experience that so I can say to the grandkids, you know, oh, during lockdown, <laughs> I sat in a queue for my dolls. And they'll be like, what? We're just, what? It's delivered by drone now. Or you get these little pouches or whatever the future holds. So, yeah, that was quite an exciting thing for me. Another thing that was exciting this week is the release of the new Star Wars Squadron game. Not the release, sorry, the, the trailer. Um, it was exciting for me because it's made me want to get a VR headset for the first time in my life to experience being a pilot in the Star Wars universe. That would be cool. And also it was exciting because you got a little insight into the X-Wing cockpit, which is something that I'm needing at the moment because I am looking to paint my Falcon 3D parts uh, cockpit. Now, uh, that video isn't ready yet. It will be ready soon. Um, but I'm still waiting on some paints and stuff like that. Everything is still a bit slow with the post around here. Um, so I'm still waiting on certain things before that video is posted. Um, yeah, so that was very, very exciting. Uh, apart from that, you know, everything is starting to feel a bit more normal. I have been out and about more. Um, so fingers crossed, there isn't going to be this second wave. And fingers crossed, we are all in a good place now, moving forward and looking to the future. Oh, actually, something else exciting that did happen is the first thing I want to talk about today. It's the second free gift that we get uh, for us premium subscribers. And it is this. These triangle landing lights, or rather kind of housing lights for the area where the X-Wing will be where it's not on patrol. The hangar, the X-Wing hangar. These are the lights that will shine onto it. You can see it in films and you can also see it at Galaxy's Edge. They are there with the X-Wing that is on display there. And these look really, really nice. You know, they are um, triangle pieces of plastic, but they've got nice little rivets there, nice little detailing. I really like the way the window looks. Obviously, you can see the LED, but they are meant to be lights, so that doesn't really bother me as much that you can see the light part of it. And you can't see it, but there is a light in there as well for these red parts. Actually, don't you think that these look like the windows for the ATST from The Mandalorian, the one that is more creature-like? Yeah, so I really like that those red parts there, looking very, very nice indeed. Um, I'm not going to untangle them, because by the time the X-Wing's all finished and I do display it, it's going to be about another year or so, isn't it? So I don't want any parts to go broken or missing. Um, but if I put the battery pack in, you see the lights on there. Let's just check they all work. One, two, three, four. Yeah, they do. Five, six, seven, eight. Brilliant. So they all work. They are all shining nice and bright. Um, I don't know what the power source will this be, actually. Because the power source of the X-Wing will be all combined. I don't know what the power source will be for this part. Maybe it will just be this. Maybe some will come in the future. I don't know. Um, but I think they'll look really, really good shining onto your completed X-Wing. Very, very nice. And also, just to show you, you can see the red LED there. Maybe it's the same LED. Oh, it is. It's the same LED as the white one, but shining through that red reflective part there. 
for people to warn you that the X-Wing is close by in case you don't see it. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is a very, very nice premium gift. I am glad that I went with the premium subscription. But enough about that. Let's actually move on to the actual issues we are looking at today, which are issues 20, no, they're not, 31 and 32. Now, for the life of me, I cannot find the magazine that came with issue 31. Um, I don't know where it is. I found all the others, but I cannot find 31, weirdly. Luckily, the parts that come in issue 31 are finishing off the second wing and I don't think it will be too much trouble. Now I actually went ahead and attached the laser cut turret to the wing off camera because I figured from the angle I'm at I wouldn't be able to put the wire through clearly and I wouldn't be able to see it all without getting around and about which I can't with this camera being in the way. So I have attached this. Um, it attaches very well as you can see there's no line there. It is um, flush to that part and you just took this wire part out of the way um, for the next part that we're going to attach and that is the bottom covering of this wing or the top covering because this is the bottom wing. Um, lovely painted detail, lovely weathering paint and basically you just match it up to the shape of the X-Wing. Oops, sorry, you've got it plugs there, plugs there, plugs there and you just match it all up and push them in to secure it. Now, with the first one, I found some buckling. Actually, no, that hasn't really buckled this time. Oh, no, that fits really nicely, apart from this one here. That fits really, really nicely. Look at that. And you can see the detailing there and the way it covers up all of those magnets and stuff. That might need a bit of glue because that keeps popping up. But, yeah, that looks very, very nice indeed. Oh, this thing is getting big. Now, the final thing we need to do on this wing, I'll try and show you as much as I can with the camera angle I have. We get two extra pieces of detailing coverings here. Looking very, very nice indeed. So the first one, uh, I was looking at the first, second wing. No, the first wing for reference, yes. So the first one just ties in here. You see we've got three plugs there. The first one will just line up with these plugs. And if I just take this bit off, push that in there like that. And then just look at the first wing again. Okay, this part has these triangle parts. The triangles will face against the main part of the wing here. And actually, it's got a little groove there that fits in with this piece, piece here, which is pretty awesome. So that will just go on there like that. Let's put this detailing part back on around the wire. Oh, it's not wanted to go on now. Yep, yeah. oh, no. Why is that wanted to go on? Because I've got to push that in. Aha, there we go. And that is that engine part all done. And that is that wing all done. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get this on camera. That's as wide as I can go. Um, it looks great, you know. It's the second wing completed of this X wing. If I just bring in the first one, there's no way you're going to be able to see them both. But two wings of the X-Wing are done, which is quite a substantial amount of the X-Wing, if you think about it. So I think, as a mark for getting to this stage, you should give this video a like. <laughs> Leaving this video a like helps me out and helps the channel out, so thank you very much for doing that. But no sooner has the second wing finished, issue 33 brings us parts for the third wing. I just get them out here and also these parts which will come on to just a little later so yes we are back building the third wing of the x-wing just get this piece out of the packaging here whoops and that's why i don't open up the packaging anymore do you remember when um when i was doing the falcon i used to open up all the packets on camera i don't do that anymore because you know the camera might get knocked like it just did so yes the third wing starts by this part now this is different because it's got that lovely greeny pattern to its uh, laser turret um, which is lovely um, really makes it stand out to all the other parts the first thing we do is push it this part in there oh that is a tight fit cracking aura that is in there that is not coming out lovely I, I prefer it to be a bit of a squeeze to get on and fit in there forever than it to be loose and this one as well oh yes good in fact i'm gonna do it this way oh, no i'm not gonna do it this way 
really got to push that on. It's not even on there yet. There we go. Just had to push it on a harder surface surface than this uh, cutting mat. Yeah, that is not moving. That is tight. That is brilliant. I really, really like the fact that it's like that. Um, now, um, the next thing we do is we get this piece here and also, oops, and also this piece here. Lovely little bit of detailing. And that just slots into that hole here like that. Looking lovely. Yeah, that looks really, really nice. And then this will just go into this back end of the laser tote here. So we've got this hole here and this dot with this hole and this dot. And we just push that in there. Oh, my word. I see they have improved the design for this wing because that is going to be tough to push in. Crack, I can't even do that. Okay. Oh, no. I just bent it a shape. Okay, put it back in. Make sure that whole line. Oh, okay. I'm going to leave this and do that off camera because I don't want any of that part to snap. Um, but the last part from issue 33 to do with the wing is uh, this part, which will clip around there when we get the rest of the parts next time. So, yeah third wing is underway but to break up the monotony of just doing another wing the next parts we get in issue 32 are these two metal pieces here and what these pieces are for they're for the nose cone of the x-wing so we're finally going to get a sense of just how long the middle part of this x-wing is going to be which is super exciting um how they attach is you bring in the cockpit metal part here God, i forgot how weighty this is um, which is a lovely piece and we've had it since day one i think it was very very early on we got this metal piece here and what we need to do is we need to attach these parts just into that hole there and that peg hole there like that and you'll see that they ex it extends out like that so i'm just going to go ahead and screw these bits in now <laughs> have those parts in make sure that these screws are in as tight as they can be as you can see this one is quite loose so I'm gonna to have to just re-tighten that because these are gonna hold these are key in holding quite a good chunk of the x-wing up so they need to be secure oh not secure at all okay I'll try that with a different screw uh, off camera but just to give you an idea of what it will look like it will look like that and then of course you've got the nose cone here we'll attach these parts at a later date i am sure but yeah just to give a sense of this um okay here's a regular pen you know it's 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 a long thing and then we'll have the wings and the engine off this way and it's still got a bit of the nose cone to go in this area lovely lovely piece to end on and going forward we will be building the third wing and this extended nose cone area as well in tandem which is lovely so you'll have something exciting to look forward to rather than just me building another wing so that is it for this time i hope you have enjoyed this video i will be back in two weeks time where we'll be looking at more of the nose cone and the more of the third wing of the x-wing until then guys keep safe keep distracted take care and bye bye